So NMDA glutamate receptors are sometimes known as coincidence detectors because um, if there are, for example, low levels of excitatory stimulation, like let's say one neuron is releasing glutamate, um, you know, from one synaptic, presynaptic terminal onto, you know, a postsynaptic membrane, um, and it's activating, you know, the AMPA and kinate receptors and opening up, you know, channels for sodium and depolarizing that postsynaptic membrane. But if it's a sort of a, you know, enough to get it to depolarize to threshold potentially at the axon hillock and initiate an action potential in the next neuron, you know, with all the different points of stimulation there, um, you know, that's, that's the AMP and kinate receptors are going to be mediating that, you know, standard sort of, uh, excitatory response, basically a glutamatergic synapses. There, these NMDA receptors at sort of normal levels of depolarization, you know, that are being generated by normal levels of glutamate release. Well, um, they're going to be, they're going to be, uh, unresponsive to glutamate binding because their channel is actually blocked by an ion. There's actually another ion that gets kind of stuck inside the channel uh, of NMDA glutamate receptors, um, and this is the magnesium ion, uh, Mg2+. Um, uh, so if, however, there's like very high levels of stimulation, so let's say you've got one uh, you know, uh, axon terminal that's glutamatergic here and another one that's glutamatergic here onto the same postsynaptic membrane. And let's say the two of them fire simultaneously. Well, yeah, they, let's say the two of them release glutamate simultaneously. Well, that's a significant increase in the amount of glutamate at that particular, you know, postsynaptic membrane. And you're going to get much greater stimulation of these AMPA and kinate receptors, much greater depolarization you know, across that membrane, and the magnesium ion will be ejected. So this NMDA receptor will respond to that enhanced depolarization, that greater activity, the coincidence of these two, you know, uh, kinds of uh, presynaptic terminals firing and releasing glutamate at once uh, by shifting the shape of that NMDA receptor and ejecting the magnesium ion, which opens up a channel to allow for not only sodium to come in, but also calcium. And remember, we've talked about how calcium entry is significant in a cell because um, calcium is highly reactive. It can, it, can, it can bind to other chemicals, change their shape, and then they can you know, act as a second messenger. They can change the shape of another chemical and then another chemical. So the entry of calcium under the conditions of high levels of stimulation, right, and selective for you know, high levels of activity, that's when the NMDA receptor will eject the magnesium and allow for calcium entry, well, that only at those high levels of stimulation will these biochemical pathways that are initiated by the entry of calcium be stimulated. And that results in changes in gene expression, uh, you know, in protein synthesis. Um, and typically it does so in ways that will strengthen that particular connection. So it's what we call a potentiation of that connection. You know, scientists get, like use fancy words for like so, uh, a long-term strengthening of this connection, building a stronger synapse is referred to as a long-term potentiation or LTP. LTP can be the result of high stimulation, often the coincidence of one, uh, you know, presynaptic glutamatergic cell and another one firing simultaneously. So something is happening to, you know, that's, that's unusual, that boosts the amount of glutamate in that synaptic cleft, you know, stimulates those, you know, AMPA and kinate to really, really depolarize, and that activates the NMDA receptors only at those high levels of stimulation because they'll respond to that greater depolarization, you know, across the membrane with uh, shift and shape, the ejection of the magnesium ion, and the entry of calcium. And again, that entry of calcium is an important initiator of biochemical cascades, you know, that connect back to the chromosomes and alter expression and, and ultimately strengthen, uh, you know, the responsiveness uh, of that particular cell. So it's a long-term potentiation that can result uh, as a result of the activation of those glutamate NMDA receptors. That's why it's rather important, obviously, for learning and memory. You're changing, you know, uh, actual network connections, you know, in response to, you know, it, it, it increases in activity in glutamatergic transmission 
you know, at specific synapses.